Well, hello there, it's Wayne Robson here again. Um, this is all about uh, using uh, the Roto node because I primarily, primarily, if I can say my words properly, primarily use uh, Roto node, which you can get automatically by pressing O, um, when I need a quick uh, mask for an area. So this is, you'll notice this is the one from the anamorphic um, video and how, you know, when we could reformat it and all that stuff. So get your Roto node. You can also press tab and stick Roto in there, all right? But we've already got one. Connect your background to your thing, all right? Now, it's suddenly gone like this. Now, what I'm going to do here um, is quickly do, it's, it's quite a sort of common one, this, um, in color grading. Now, if I look at this on its own, all right, I look in, Disconnect that, don't need any more. Right. You've got an alpha channel right in there. Now what I want to do with that alpha channel is add a shuffle node on a bit like that. And at the moment, the information we need is in. In fact, what I do need to do, he says, is before I do that, so often I make a mistake like this, but I've made one in this case. I want the alpha off on here, right? So now if I look at this, right, we're only getting the mask itself. Before, if I turn this off, we're also getting the alpha channel from the render, right? So stick that like that. Right now, it's only in the alpha channel. What we want to do is use our shuffle node. Here is that little box up here, right? Can you see the mouse right there? That's what we're going to do, and that's going to be on our blue, green, and red channels as well. All right. So now, if I go like this, I can press A and look up here all day, and it's exactly the same. So now we have a, a quick mask. So let's assume I want to do a um, a grid. This is a common as I say for color grading. This I want to quickly connect this from the mask output of the second grade node into the shovel node there, just make it nice and tidy. Now I'm going to go back up to here. At the moment, any changes I'm making here will only be inside that box, right? Now, a classic one when you're uh, doing any sort of uh, color grading is the light box for the eyes. Now at the moment, this looks horrible, right? It really, really looks horrible because it's a hard edge. So what we need to do is go back into our roto node, right? Now, I'm going to put it in the alpha channel at the moment just because it's easier. There are two ways we can do this. We could feather it out just like this, all right, and change the feather fall off a bit, which could give a better effect. So I'll rotate it back there. And we can see if I just do an overhead, you can see there's a, a nice light bit. It's a bit sharp, but you could use it for all sorts of things. Now, <coughs> excuse me, in a similar way, um, you could use it for, let's just say, I, I hate using blur. Blur is horrible. Um, you're better using, you know, proper camera blur where you can, you know, in post. But in this case, let's assume um, I'm going to create another copy of this. Put it over here. I'll need one of those as well, which I should have copied with it. Connect it to it. Connect it to the shuffle over here. Now this one, right? Let me roll like that. I'm going to make this. A wee bit bigger, right? Like that. Now I can go back in here so I know that this is what I'm going to do and I'm controlling it with. Right, just get rid of that thing. The blur, connect the shuffle again, organize the crap out of this because it's getting very messy very fast. And then if I just get rid of that, create another one that always gets rid of it, I can add some blur and it'll only occur outside. Or rather it's inside because what I should have done, the idiot I am, is inverted with an invert node, right? So now you can see where we're going. And we have a bit of blur and we could even just subtly add stuff there. Now remember this one, this is all kinds of screwed. We can click on one of those and stretch this down a bit. And that's the feathering. So you can automatically re-feather it. So now if we look at our first roto node, that's what we have, okay? Now, you go back, 
onto here. Go when you go back at the, the end again. There you go. And we've managed to get our depth of field. If I take those two, the grid and the blur off, you can see that is affecting, right? Press H in real time, you know, and it's reformatted back as put, I've tried to fill it in the best way of putting in some words. But basically, it stretches the image back out and everything you've done stretches along with it, right? Simple as that. So there's a simple one, but the light box is an, you know, an old fashioned one. What you'd want to do with this is animate this along, right? You'd animate the roto across. Uh, that's sort of, so I'll say the realms of this tutorial, but it's fairly easy to do and you should be able to work that out, um, you know, with the, the rudimentary knowledge in Nuke. So anyway, there you go. Um, and hopefully that's been interesting to you, right? Again, if you like this, my name is William Robson. If you haven't, then it's Donald Trump. Bye-bye.